Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Is Jesus mortal or immortal? Jesus is when he came as a uh, when he was born to through Mary, he was fully human when he came. And he came, he came only to reverse the words. He was fully God and fully man. Yes. So how does a fully God die? Why didn't you explain it to us? Why didn't you explain it to us? So that's what I'm explaining. You said he's when, fully God and fully man. Look, fully when, man can okay, die. Yes, okay. But how can yes, the fully God die? Jesus was fully God and fully man. So how does the fully it, God die? Jesus is literally <laughs> the, uh, uh, so God. Is, the Father manifested himself in Jesus. That is literally like that. Is that what you believe? Yes. God so literally. God literally was there. So of course, she's saying that she, she's saying the Father manifested at the Son. No. Do you believe that? No. Is she, is she a, is she a, let me hear again. Okay. Father, Can you repeat it for, for him? Literally the God manifested. God Jesus was incarnated as equally the God uh, in Jesus. You said, you the, know? the Father I said, but you need to understand that. So repeat it again. What, what I'm telling is Jesus came yeah. literally as humans, but he left what his divine but glory. Why did you he change your wording? You said earlier <laughs> the Father manifested as Jesus. So why do you think Jesus was born? No, but do you agree? What? Okay. What he was born? Don't get any message. Do you agree that the Father manifested as the Son? Do you agree with that? Father, literally, uh, Father's spirit was in Jesus as well. The spirit, you know, you understand. Why did he say manifested as the Son? Father is not the Son, Son is not the Father, Holy Spirit is not the Son. So why did he say manifested as the Father earlier? Huh? Why did he say? It's on camera, my camera. What's it on the full version of it? That's what I'm telling you. It was literally. You see the Father, is that what you meant? Yes. Jesus, when Jesus says, our Father is in me and I am in the Father. It literally, when you don't believe in Trinity, you won't understand. For me, God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit is God. God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. They don't work separately. These phrases are not in the Bible. They are not three. Now you have spoken a lot, let me speak now. Now listen, How do you put it? You said no, you have seen you have seen the Father. No, that I have to stop it. Uh. That's your basis. Okay. Now, if anybody in the Bible says anybody who sees God, they will die. That is also written in the so Bible. In the Let Bible. me finish. Let me finish. Okay. And you talk. Okay. Because the same Bible says anybody who sees me will die. Okay. Why did people not die when they saw Jesus? Okay. And by the way, you you are still haven't answered the question. Why did your God die? You are, you completely. Change the topic to something else. Okay. So once again, let's go back so to the original why topic. Jesus why died? did no, no, why did God die? Because you said it's fully God. No, you said you Jesus is fully God. You said why Jesus died. Yeah. No, no, why did God die? Huh? That's what I'm telling you. No, 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 no. I'm telling you. Wasn't that why you said God? Yeah, yes, yes. So God does not die in Christianity. God does not die in Christianity. So this is not God then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Soko. Thank you, Soko. That's what you are telling. When Jesus came in flesh, he literally left his heavenly glory. He literally left his heavenly glory. So who died on the cross? The human person. God in... The human person. The second person of the Trinity. The human person. They say it repeated. That's what? No. But you don't forget. Go on, help Go on, help Exactly, man. Jesus did not, Jesus did not left his... So who died on the cross? That's the question. When, when human beings... Answer the, the question, man. Died, when, Jesus as a, when Jesus as a human being died, that doesn't mean God died, but God literally gave... Uh, what do you call it? Jesus... Jesus literally came as the incarnation of God. God flesh. God flesh. In the flesh of God. Yeah. Literally God. as an incarnation yes. of the Father. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's what she said. Incarnation of God. Is the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so when you say, listen to this, you said that human flesh died on the cross. Am I right? Is that what both of you are saying? Okay. That means from the Father. Now listen to the question very carefully because I don't want. Let you. me answer. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Before you let answer, answer, let me ask the question. Let me answer. So listen to the question Jesus carefully. Why Jesus died? Listen to the question carefully because you always answer something like this. From the you, Father. I, this is the first time I'm talking to you. Don't tell lies. Don't come and talk to me. No, 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 no. So no, 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 no. Father, I've never talked to you before. Listen. 
You people are good at lying. You people, you people. Yes. people. You people are very calm good at lying. Calm down. I never had video with you before. Don't lie. Okay. You people need to calm down. I know that Catholic, that Catholic girl, I was standing next to her, but you didn't talk to me. Okay. Okay, so don't lie. Consider yourself fortunate I'm talking to you. Oh, you are Allah. <laughs> what is Allah? Allah. Oh, Allah. 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 Don't, don't die, Chris. Don't die, Chris. Speak to me. Okay, speak, speak. so let me speak. The question is this, I want you to listen carefully, not play with your phone. Can you manage that? Good. From the Father, from the Son, and from the Holy Spirit, which person died on the cross? Yes. Yes. Yeah, no need to Google this. Google That's what I'm telling you. Soko. If you don't need to Soko. No answer. Soko. No no answer. I want you to listen to the question. I said, from the Father, from the Son, and from the Holy Spirit, which person, which person died from you from the Trinity? Jesus. The Son dies. Okay. If somebody dies, is that person mortal or immortal? So, if you die, what happens to your spirit? What happens to your spirit? I just asked you. I just asked you. That's what I'm asking. No, no, what, what body, is your body can die, body can be buried in the grave, but what happens to the spirit? Yes, so, my what question happens to, to the you. spirit? My question when, is, Jesus died, when Jesus died, what happened to his spirit? Nobody has to accept you except you. You need to behave. You need to behave. You need to behave. You need to behave. You need do you know the difference between no. mortal and immortal? Do you know the difference? No, no, no. Okay. So, because she doesn't know, I'll no. explain it to you guys. No. The term no. mortal no. means someone... No. 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 I'm coming to that. But first you need to understand the question. Is your spirit dead? Can you die? Yeah, yeah. Can I answer? What happens? Yes. Can I answer? Yes. And then you'll answer my question. Yes. 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 Okay, listen, yes. she's going to answer. Yes. Okay, yes. What, what when somebody dies... Guys? Listen, this is what death means to me. Here's the definition of death. When somebody dies... For you? Let me answer without interrupting. And you two don't interject. When somebody dies, the soul separates from the body. Yes. That is what death means. Yes. Did that happen to Jesus? No, no, no. Huh? Did that happen to Jesus? My dear. That's the answer. Hush. My dear, answer. What happens to your spirit? I just explained to you. Where the spirit goes? 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 Is it dead? Spirit. If you die upon the... What do you mean by separated? What do you mean by separation? First and foremost, Death means separation of the soul from ah, the body. So the okay. Goes. Now when it separates. Now listen, this is the second question. So the deal was, I will answer your question. And then she answer my question. So now I'm going to answer your question. Then you ask the question. That's what happens. What happens to the spirit? Yeah, we just die. Will you answer mine then? Yes. I will ask you two as well. You answer two. Third time now. Third time now. Second question. What happens to the spirit? Third time now. Very good. The spirit or the soul, which we call it. Okay, depending on the judgment of God. The eternal bliss or eternal damnation. For you Christians who are Trinitarian, is eternal damnation if you don't repent. Okay, now I've answered your question. Now I've answered your question. Now my turn. Okay, now, yes. No, 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 my turn. No, 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 yes. my turn now. Yes. Okay, so I'll ask two questions. Question number one. Question number one. Yes, yes. Question, question number one. What is the difference between an individual or an entity who is immortal and someone who is mortal? What's the difference? Immortal or mortal, I understand what is the difference. One can die, one can die. Which one can die? You're an empty bag, man. I understand that. Answer me. I understand that. Answer the question. Which one can die? Which one can die? Why do you have to die? The human die. The body dies. Then the spirit dies. The body dies, but the spirit never dies. From immortal and mortal, who dies? And Jesus. She doesn't know English. The human is immortal. No, she doesn't know. That's why she's saying she doesn't know. She doesn't know which one dies. Are you mortal or immortal? You tell me. Ah, you want to know the answer from me? No, you don't. Remember, it's my turn to ask you. I answered your question. Now it's your turn to answer me. Are you immortal or mortal? No, wait a minute. I understand what it is. No, no, no. So tell me that. She don't, man. She doesn't know. Are you immortal? Are you Allah or are you the servant of Allah? Help her, help her. Jesse, help her. Who is the one who dies? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. Who dies? Help her, help her. You have been helping her. Don't get embarrassed. The Christians are struggling here. Big time. And Jesus? No, 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 no. God. It is blood. You can't forgive your God. So why? Why is blood? Who needs blood? Who needs blood? The Christian God needs blood. One, one, one. Why is blood? You just said it. You cannot be forgiven without blood. Okay. What kind of a God is this? So why God asked you to sacrifice? 
No, no, you changed the topic again. You didn't answer my question. No, because you said he has done it. God is blind, so I'm asking. No, you're the one who said it. You're the one who said it. I see money for you. Let me take over. You just now said, you said God needs blood. You just now said that God needs blood. So, who's God needs blood? The Christian God? Yes. Or the Muslim God? So, why, why, why God? No, which one needs blood? Which one needs blood? Why God Which told? one needs blood? Which one? Which but, God needs blood? Your God without, or my God? The creator of God, God made a decision. Did you hear that? Yes. He, her God needs blood. Does Allah need blood, guys? No. 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 Somebody who's bloodthirsty. A bloodthirsty God. Somebody who's bloodthirsty. Fighty. So why is not forgiving you, guys? Who said he doesn't? Allah promised us Jannah. Only the one who will not forgive go to Jannah. This year. He's jealous because he won't. He won't get any women in Jannah. In the hellfire, there's no. He's got busted already. I busted him. I busted him already. He's finished. Oh God. Oh God. Your feet is gone. Show me the evidence. Show me. 
show. Show. I quoted the passage. You quote the passage. Okay. I said in Hebrews 9:20, do they go for dinner? She doesn't know, man. She doesn't know, man. So they don't give you something for without the shedding of blood. So you know what they're doing now? They're looking at the help from the Jewish people. You are the Jewish people. Yes. Sacrifice for what? On it. Unintentional sin. Exactly. Unintentional. In Leviticus. In Leviticus. And they can't, you know, there are other ways for forgiveness in Judaism. What, what is the other way? What is the other way? What is the other way? What is the other way for forgiveness? Other way? It's charity. It's fraud. It's very ways. You can seek forgiveness by asking him by the person. How did David get forgiven? David. Thank you. How did David get forgiven? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. For the second son, no blood sacrifice. You know the sin of David. Do you remember the sin of David? He was married to another woman. Not married. What did he do? He killed the husband and brought the. No, what did he do before? Not only he killed. He, he basically planned the killing yes, of the husband, yes, yes. but he committed adultery and against the child, him. When the, when the woman gave he committed adultery with whom? Do you remember the name of the woman? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he committed yeah. adultery with Bathsheba. Yes. Did God forgive him? Yes. Yes. But then he punished him. He punished him. No, God said, I will punish you. Your child will be punished. No, no, no. Child! No, 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 no. Right. Before that, before that, for David's sin, did you see that? This is that God. This is the biblical God. When the father says the child is punished, this is the injustice. What happened? You're quiet now. You're quiet now. What happened? Your God is so unjust that he wants innocent animals to be killed. He wants an innocent child to be killed for the sin of the father. So go, why are you quiet? How old are you quiet? How old are you quiet? How old are you quiet? Okay, okay, okay. Who did flood? Who did flood? Who did flood? Let's go there. No problem. Yes. Okay. Allah did. Moses did. Moses did. So Allah did not kill. Can I answer? Without interrupting. Yes. So you already agreed. No one flood. Tell me about Noah's flood. But before we go there, you already agreed that David's child was killed for his sin. Do you agree? No. The David, God said, I will punish you, but because and the child won't live because you did like this. It's not good, and I know so how to punish David. Hashim, Hashim, before that, the wives were punished. The wives were taken and given to the neighbor to sleep with them during the broad daylight. What the punishment, the, the first punishment. What happened to David's wife? No, not Bathsheba. The other wife. What happened to them? Which wife? The Forget the name. What, are, what was the punishment given to his wife? You know, it's not bad. Can I quote it? Look, look, I can't no, see no, the uh, man, Don't teach her, man. The second is. Yeah. Yeah. Don't teach her. Let it go. Don't tell her. David never. David said, okay, you people are not going to be, uh, take you as a wife. You will be widow all your life. No, no, she can't because you are ignorant. No, 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 no. 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 No, my dear, 12, 11 to, 11 to 13. No I know you're no, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Okay, so now this is what. Is so the Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No. Not Ishmael. I'll give you the reference. Wait, wait. I'll give you the reference. Yes. My God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, yeah, and Jacob. Your God is unjust. Not Ishmael. The first punishment. Wait. Punishes children for the father's sin. Punishes the wife for the husband's sin. Okay. So open 2 Samuel. You got the Bible? Open 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel, chapter 2 Samuel, 12. Chapter 12, verse number 11 to 18. Exactly, the first punishment before the child because was killed. It says, it says very clearly here. Uh, first punishment. In, in the Bible. Yes. Remember, he punishes the children and the wives as well. Yes. So in the Bible, that God, the biblical God says, this is what the Lord says. Out of your own household, I am going to bring calamity on you. Before your very eyes, I will take your wives and give them to the one who is close to you. And he will sleep with your wife yes. in broad no, daylight. daylight. Yes. 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 You did it in secret, that means you, David, did it in secret. I will do it in broad light, that's what God said. Yes, but I will put it in, I will, wait, let me finish. Wait, wait, when God did Noah's flood, Okay, wait, I know you understand the topic. I know you understand the topic. I know you're, I know you're angry. 
Because your Bible is exposing you. Lord, 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 of David and his wife, no, like the way the Bible did. So, okay, so you did not, you did it in secret, yes, but I will do it in the in the broad daylight yes. like before all yes. Israel. Yes. Okay, and then it goes on to say, then David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. Nathan said, the Lord has taken away your sin without sacrifice. It's gone. Huh? It's gone. Your Bible, your your God. Finished, There's no mention of sacrifice here. He says, the Lord has taken away your sin. You are not going to die. According to her, anyone who sins will die. But the Bible says David will not die even though he committed adultery. And then it goes on to say, but because by doing this, wait, you have shown utter contempt to the Lord, the son born to you will die. So what is the punishment for David's adultery? Number one, the punishment is not on David, it's on his son. But David was what? Forgiven. And then he will not die according to them. The wages of sin is death. But according to your Bible, no, David, David will not die. David will not die. Okay. First and foremost, so your Bible light. So what? David, your Bible light. Is David alive? Either way, he's back. He is goes back on you. Now? Why did the Bible light? No, he's not. So, so why did he say he will not die? Is death only. Why does he say he will not die? Why does he say he will not die? What? Your Bible. Because. 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 Because.
ladies and gentlemen, the only unjust God is the biblical God who kills innocent animals, who wants to kill innocent human beings, innocent children, innocent Jesus as well, according to your Bible, died when Jesus was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. His prayers were rejected. Jesus' prayers were rejected. And he was not he was not given that option to even for his prayers to be answered. You know why? Because he was not God. God doesn't need to pray. But the Bible, Jesus prayed. I don't speak to liars anymore. You lied. Twice he lied. Twice he lied. Now that we know desperate now. Now we know she's desperate. Desperate. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh